People wanted to get their last minute. Yes, this weekend. Uh, they wanted to get their last minute practice in for for it. So enough locals they can enter, the better practice. So let's go right into it. We're gonna have Sassy Flygon versus Hydra. Yeah, Hydra okay. is a name I haven't seen in a minute, but Sassy Flygon, right. I'm seeing a lot recently. Yep. Uh, has won as one of these, you know, Wi Fi's. Mm -hmm. I think didn't enter two weeks ago. Entered last week, got top eight, but you know, I think only got fifth or something along those lines. Yep. So definitely, he's looking to have more of a repeat performance from, be you know, before where he won the whole thing. Uh, already yep. in winner semi, so doing pretty well for himself. But right now, he's facing down Hydra's Palutena, which back in the. Uh, Earlier on, I used to see a lot of this player and see a lot of good work from him. So let's see how this ends up shaping up. Yeah. I feel like Palutena is one of those characters that are just straight up unnerfable, untouchable. Invincible even, no matter how many times you nerf her. And then there's Luigi. <laughs> Who ain't afraid of nobody. Ready to grapple all the time. Yeah. No now, one thing, here there. now, one thing about Sassy Flygon's play specifically is that... For being a we Luigi playing online, he is not reliant on those zero to death grabs that we see all the time normally from those Luigis. So, oh, but one thing that Luigi always struggles with, doesn't matter if it's Sassy or anybody, is recovering, especially against a Palutena, especially against Hydra's Palutena right now. Oh, yeah. Very limited ways they can come back to the stage. They have to get really lucky if they want to land like that that missile. But very exploitable on certain cases of a character. Yeah, character it's kind of, yeah. It yeah, it also depends on. It, it requires good timing from uh, you know the, de the defending player to figure out when to go all in. And right there was a great moment. Mm. And now Sassy's trying to pick up this kill. Only taking about sixty-one percent though. 72, not even able to maintain that much stage control. Oh, Finally, let's it rip. combo breaking off of that, and that's going to be a stock, but already taking a sizable amount. Oh, but possibly, I was saying how he doesn't Ooh. rely on those zero to deaths. Okay, doesn't actually need it, but gets about 54%. Not, not insignificant by the least, but uh, there's still a whole lot more Palutena stock that needs to go. Otherwise, he's going to be down another stock once more. Yeah. It's a good thing you mentioned that, like, what separates the Luigis from knowing one thing and one thing only is, like, like the combo game. Ridiculous. You know, they kill you, but what if they don't get it? And I've seen a lot of Luigi players struggle to get kills and take sets because of that reason. Sassy Flygon has proven that they can adapt really well. So even though they're down a stock like this, they can do that reversal of B off the, off the shield and bring it right back to even this is pretty good it's pretty good yeah and i was i was going to mention how it felt like as soon as hydra got the lead and was able to play more defensively that the, the, the percentage difference just started being added up so taking a really early stock like that with that up b is going to be huge let's see how sassy flygon now that we're on to the last stock for both of these players is going to be working with it in the meantime this palatina all of these up airs hydra still getting Ooh. the combos in so much pressure so, from all across the stage. I got such like Smash 4 flashbacks right there, seeing that character on the top platform ready to go for the kill off the jump. Oh man. Like it felt it in me bones. That up air was gonna land, he's gonna take that last stock, but the pressure's still going. Sassy Flygon has to make it back on the stage. Oh no, this all right, is rough. Good, Damn, good drop zone neutral air, but mm. not quite taking the stock just yet. Back air not able to connect. 133%. This is a Luigi with rage. This is by no means something that Hydra can just consider to be in the bag. One grab could mean huge amounts of damage. Another grab after that, that could mean this, the entire game. I know something that's really interesting about Palutena, how like they're not really afraid when they're off stage, especially when they have explosive flame and teleport. <laughs> So edge gunning could be like a little rough on them if they're not mobile. Like if your feet are planted on the ground, like Luigi unfortunately has to be in some situations. That is so true, but we, easy, ha yeah. we have also seen two frames that uh, Sassy early on was able to consistently be two framing that Palutena recovery. Oh yeah. Something oh, like that could be okay. huge. Oh, 
actually baits him with that up. Be able to retreat to the ledge. 150s. We just see his Palutena Ooh, back airs one after another. Yeah. Simply just, went sideways. <laughs> that's that's one of those things where at those percents, sometimes it's worth it not to pummel on the chance that your opponent is does doesn't isn't able to react and di it. Quick throws. It's like going for a quick yeah, reset yeah. or something. That yeah. is a that very was... good thing to do to mix up DI and get a kill. Yeah. Like, really easy. Pass 160. And I will but say, I... when you have a percent advantage like that, uh, you can... When you're at, doing a tomahawk grab like that, just a big call out, it, you feel much more comfortable going for that when you still have a lot of stock left to give. You know, when you're at 100, it, it just feels so much scarier jumping in somebody's face, not hitting a button. Yeah, you need reads like that, though. You always need uh, to to have an autopilot is is the first step in order to play in the neutral in a game like this. And then there's the uh, the reads that come in and how you apply them. Like when you throw all like it's like rock paper scissors where you like when you throw out rock, when you throw out paper, when you throw out scissors essentially. And Hydra's been show have doing a good job of showcasing when. They're, they're able to throw in throws here, throw in explosive flames, yeah. poking it with down tilt too. I mean, another thing that I'm curious to see is that by the end of that game, granted that, you know, there was a big lead for Hydra to begin with, but he started throwing out these aerials, lots of back airs, just you know, these big Palutena moves that can be so hard, especially for a character without disjoints like Luigi. So as we move into game two here, it's curious to see what adaptations Flygon needs to make, what game plan change needs to happen in order to deal with that sort of, you know, just aggressively throwing out hitboxes. Mm. You know, thing that Sassy Flygon, like you mentioned earlier, doesn't go for the, the Luigi kill combo as often, doesn't fish for it as much. Um, they're getting a lot of dash attacks. This is set up situations where they're trying to to get a good edge guard there, but it's Palutena is proven in their strengths here. It's a, it's a rough thing to do. But that that dash attack is getting punished <laughs> for free. <laughs> and good awareness, knowing what the optimal punish is in that case. Just raw up he had a shield. He dash attacked. I don't know how many frames of minus that is, but it is more than enough. Super minus. Clearly showcase right there as he punches that, that that fresh up B. Back throw off the ledge. Nice catch. Nice catch there from Hydra. Even enough the stocks, but this could change right here. Oh no! I don't know if the Trying platform messed so them fancy up. Yeah. With those uh, those teleport cancels on the platform. Gotta grab for it at 85% now. Hasn't really managed to find any sort of footing. Look at these two just oh. Changing projectiles. Okay. That's a little confirmed there from Hydra. A little more damage being built up from the Nair, the back air. A lot of work is being put in. Can they get this edge guard? Oh, they got the two frame with the down tilt. Nice. Oh, but they just timed the record. But they still get it. They still get it. The work paid off. Well spaced. So well spaced. And I still get up attack to get him off him, but. Okay, Ooh, that just, was good. Yeah, raw up smash. Just making sure to get underneath there. I was saying, oh, how is, you know, Sassy going to adapt to these, like, the, the, the flurry of aerials that Hydro throws out once he has a lead? And the answer is just run underneath it and up smash. Palatine having strong disjoints and speed like that is a really good tool to have. These two frames are coming out strong for them, too. Nice catch. And, yeah. yeah. It's, I like the fact that had not really punished that side B, had just been sort of giving him the space, and then and when it comes down to last stock, when it comes down to sealing the deal, that's when he goes off and just ah, to plummets him right into the blast zone. Yeah. Rarely that he could get the two misfires in a row. So banking on that, and just waiting for Luigi's most vulnerable spot, which is right there. You're going for that spike right off the stage. Good, it was really good edge guarding there from Hydra, which is, which is really important to do against a character like Luigi when you have the ability to do so. Yep.
All right, I'm going right now into game three. So far, Hydra up 2-0. Just needs to take this last game. We're going back to Smashville. How do you, how do you feel about that? Do you think that this is the right call for Hydra? This is the Sassy Oh, sorry, rather. Yeah, yeah, Sassy, Sassy, Sassy. Sassy. I misspoke. Uh, yeah, I don't think it made a difference for Hydra on the stage as they as they won on it last time. This is Sassy's last time kind of quick. Um, it could be like the the game plan of I'm gonna fight you here on the small stage, so you better come ready for the, with the with the boxing gloves. <laughs> yeah, and there were quite a few really close calls of using that middle platform that Smashville has. Yeah, but oh, Ooh, trouble and the problems with it. <laughs> Palutena can use it to help ex Oh, the misfire! Yes. You were talking about how rare it is, but in that exact situation, it saved him. Now Smash connects, not gonna kill. There's a little bit more in order to do so. I like that. Overshooting the aerials, recognizing the defensive option that Sassy is trying to pick. It seems that Hydra, even if he's down, still feels pretty dang in control. <laughs> yeah. Despite being uh, in the Wi-Fi environment, Hydra's doing a really good job of spacing out all of uh, Sassy's reversal options here. So, they're just gonna let him do whatever. Probably a connection issue here. There might be some packet losses here. Yeah, I saw it saw it slow down a bit. I think they're waiting yeah. for, can we get a, a what's, the, uh, what's the ping? I think the ping is, is better now. <laughs> Mid game right. button checks, let's go. <laughs> welcome uh, to Wi Fi. Yeah, welcome to Wi Fi. Soon, soon, I say. Damn, just. Yeah, face it, yeah. I mean, this yeah, this is kind of the neutral that uh, Hydra's been playing anyway. Product of our environment. It's okay. Let him feel it out. It happens. Just roll with it. Let's roll. All right, now Sassy's gonna run a puppy. This is just the most macro bait you've ever seen. It feels like the, with the moment of, the, of them just like standing there, they're just both typing to each other in chat. Like, what the hell is this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. TOs only. Oh. Okay, so they're gonna agree to a possible DQ here. Yeah. Well. All right. In the meantime, in this downtime, we can also donate to that Macherino. It's looking a little hungry right there, so you guys can use the free coupon that you get. <laughs> yeah, All right. there it is. Yeah. That's uh, unfortunate to see that, but is the way it is. And it is. I mean, honestly, it did really feel like Hydra had a really good sense of the matchup. So... He's just keeping himself fresh for losers, unless, of course, he's DQing himself from losers, in which case, he's keeping himself fresh for the next week. True that, true that. Still in top five territory, can fight their way into this top three, uh, where they could get a chance of earning this money today, this week. Yeah, we... speaking of top three, yeah. let's try and get top three payout. Everyone, do the Macherino, the new dance craze that's sweeping the nation. Yeah, put that free 50 cents Dunna, in that... Dunna Macharino <laughs> using that coupon code XW62.